So in the previous video, uh, I showed that we can uh, write a neural network that can uh, recognize handwritten digits uh, with an accuracy of, of 86%. But we had to run a, a thousand epochs here, which is normally not a problem, but because we have uh, 20,000 points, uh, that, that takes a while. There's a lot of matrix multiplication that's happening here. Uh, so we can actually speed things up a little because we have so much data. By, by breaking the data up in pieces. So rather than going for every epoch, going over all 20,000 points at once, we can break it up into chunk or batches. So this is a technique called batches. And the advantage is that you then you update your weights more often. right? So, so let's say we, we break up our 20,000 into two chunks uh, of 10,000. Then every epoch we're actually updating our weights twice, right? And and it makes sense to do this because uh, ten thousand points are probably is probably good enough to get an accurate gradient. Uh, so let's implement re uh, refactor this to take advantage of batching. So uh, just to be on the safe side here, I'm gonna copy my code. So I have a working code that I hopefully won't mess up. And uh, let's put that up here. And uh, let's first figure out how we're going to do this batching. And so again, with pandas, um, once you have it in a data frame, there's actually an easy way to do it. Uh, so let's uh, let me show you how that works. So we've already um, defined our data. So we read that in, and now we want to. Uh, group it basically. And so uh, I had to Google this, um, but it actually turns out to be pretty easy. So let me type it, uh, type it and then explain it. So the pandas command is called group by. Uh, and actually, let me just already define this as a variable. So I want something called batch size. So how big how big a chunk do I want? So if you make a 2,000, then I should get um, 10 chunks or 10 batches. Uh, and so let me print that out. So batch number is just uh, the number. So that'll be from 0 to 10 in this case. And the batch is the actual data. Okay, so let's, we get a lot of stuff, but luckily Pandas is pretty good about displaying it. Okay, so, um, right, here's my, my data. And as I go down now, right, after 2000, I get a new chunk here. Right, so that's excellent. And then I go down, 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 get another chunk. So this is, uh, so the first one, was batch zero, here's the batch number, right? This is batch number one, two, and then if we go all the way down, here I should, yeah, have batch number nine. So from zero to nine, so 10 batches. Excellent. Now, okay, get rid of this output so I can see my code here, right? So. For every batch, I now want to I now want to do this. Yes, that's so. Basically, I want to take this um, here, and I want to put it here, and this all goes in under the for loop. Now, okay, yeah. And so I want the batch size here. That was kind of stupid, and. So I need to not use the entire data frame now to make my axis, but instead the batch. And the same here. Oops. And then I need a list where I'm going to put um, a 
my information. So I'll start with an empty list and then I'll append the x prime and the y. Okay, let's uh, run that and see if we get any errors. Seems to be okay. Uh, I don't need this anymore. So I can get rid of that. Um, okay, so now the main thing here is for every epoch, I'm now going to loop over the batches. So for every x, p, and y in batches, I'm going to update my weights like this. Now, that means here when I calculate the error, right, I'll just use, I'll just print out the error here for the last batch. Now that's really okay, I just want to see if the error goes down. But that does mean that in the end here, this y predicted will just be for the last batch, and I actually want to know how I'm doing, how I'm doing overall. So, yes, so I need now at the very end, I need to calculate using the entire data here and using the last weights compute y predicted. Uh, and there's one more thing actually, uh, that is, so the n here, that should be the size of the batch. So let's just calculate that, um, for example, that it should be the length of the, of the x prime vector. And I now get an error message here. Ah, okay, so let's see. Right, this needs to, oh, yeah, that's okay. So first of all, this should be n, uh, and I need n here, but I also need now to calculate the ones again, right? So so ones is just a a matrix uh, that's n long, but n has changed. So I need that in there. Let's see if that solves it. Okay, so what am I at here? I'm at 10, uh, 10 epochs, and I already have, I already get 30% right. And so what's, let's try to increase that to 100. Okay, so 86% after just uh, 100 epochs. Let's compare that to uh, this one here. So let's run uh, 10 epochs here. Uh, sorry, 100 epochs here and compare. Okay, so there you can see a, an enormous difference, right? 30% with 100 epochs here versus 86% already uh, with 100 epochs. There. So why don't you try to see exactly how far you can take this, both in terms of, so there are many things to play with, right? There is, we can turn up the epochs, we can play with the learning rate, and we can also uh, play here with the batch size. So let's see how high of a success rate you can get.